and welcome back. Today is going to be my Sephora VIB sale recommendations. So I am personally a VIB Rouge, so I get 20% off. And this is when I like to pick up repeat items that I really love and want to get again, but are on the pricier side. So I don't like to necessarily always buy them at full price, but there's also items that I like on my list that I really, really want to try, but also again, might as well wait until there's 20% off for me. So I will be going on a no buy for a while after the sale. So I'm going to pick up a few things. I'm not going to go crazy, but I am going to pick up a few things, but I wanted to give you some of my recommendations of items to try out during the sale. And then also I'm going to let you know some of the things that I may be picking up or definitely will be picking up. So I'm going to dive into this basket right here. Some of my recommendations, some of my favorites that you've seen a long time on the channel, and maybe some that you haven't seen as much, but definitely favorites. I'm gonna start with hair care, and I'm gonna talk about Briogeo. So this is my favorite shampoo and conditioner. When I use something else, I miss this. When I get this back in my routine, my hair is just so much better. I was using the other Briogeo, the, the Don't Despair line of shampoo and conditioner, and that's good, but it's not as great as this for my personal hair. I love the smell of this, and I love the way this works on my hair. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's shampoo and conditioner is definitely an item I recommend picking up during the sale because you need it, and if you can get it cheaper, why not? Another thing that I recommend picking up during the sale is skincare. Skincare is one of the priciest items that I buy, and 20% off will definitely help. This is something I don't think I've talked about. I may have talked about it once when I got this, and this is from Hourglass. This is a skincare product from Hourglass. This is the Equilibrium Restoring Essence. I am almost out of this, so you can tell this is well-loved. I don't know if you can see. I got this in an Influencer Vox box, so I was sent this for free, but this has lasted me so long, and for a very long time, I use this morning and night. I love this. I think it's gonna be great going into the colder months as well, because it just gives your skin an extra like, burst of hydration. You just need a two drops and it smooths over the skin so easily, sinks in, and I really, really love this stuff. If it's in the budget there, I may pick this up again. I don't know if it will be because there's several things that I want, but this is definitely a good, if you're in the market for an essence kind of product, uh, this is a really good one. Two other skincare products that I recommend. One I pretty much always pick up now, and it's the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. I love this resurfacing serum. This is an AHA, and it works wonders for my skin. I It makes the texture so much smoother, and I love this stuff. The last time I bought this, I think I got this actually as an add-on for Ipsy or FabFitFun. I can't remember, um, but I I don't like not having this in my routine, so I may end up getting another a backup of this. But another good pharmacy product that I love, the Filling Good Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I like this. I don't. It's not a a necessity in my routine like the AHA is. But this is a very very good. I like to use this in the morning and that one at night. But uh, I really do enjoy, and they're just so beautiful. I love them both. All right, the rest looks like it's makeup. Let's start with eyes. I have one eyeshadow palette recommendation. That's kind of crazy because I love eyeshadow. So this is the Viseart Violet Etendu palette. Now, this is my first Viseart palette, and this is my favorite purple palette. It's what I'm wearing today. I've done like way more intense looks with this with the more purple tones, but I like that you can do a little bit, a bit more simple, natural for purple kind of tones. I all around, this is a great palette. I love this so much. I want to try out more from Viseart. If you have any Viseart recommendations, I might pick up another one because this one is so good. Highly recommend. Love the size. Easily travelable. It's very travelable. <laughs> Let's move into complexion products. So these two, if you are new to my channel, probably don't know, but if you've been around my channel, you know I love these. These are my top two concealers. It is the Milk Make Flex. I am scraping, I don't know if you can see at all, but I am scraping the edges of this. I will get another one of this because it's actually not that expensive for a high-end concealer and 20% off, definitely getting this one. Next up is the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I love how creamy this is. It's pigmented, it's beautiful. This has been a go-to for me and I 
highly, highly recommend this. I don't know that I need an extra one yet, but I kind of feel like I should pick one up anyways because it won't last me till the next sale. So I might be getting those, we'll see. Next complexion product is the Merit product. There's a couple of Merit products in here. I tried not to put all of them in here. I just did a video on Merit's entire line. If you hear Lincoln playing, if you're new, you don't know this, I have a four-year-old, he's down here playing. Anyways, Merit sent me their entire line, which I still cannot believe, but this is a product that I had already purchased. I had been loving for months and months. So just know that this one was sent to me. I got a backup, but I originally purchased this and love it. So this is the complexion stick from, perfecting complexion stick from Merit. I love this so much. It's so beautiful. It's so blendable. Um, I wish that I had a lighter shade. I love this. It's blendable. It's a nice, simple, everyday kind of foundation. I am wearing it today. Can make it look a little bit more glam, but it is intended to be more of a natural coverage. It doesn't look like anything on the skin. Beautiful everyday foundation. So highly recommend that. And along with that, I recommend the Merit brush. This is their blending brush. It's $30. I was going to buy this anyways, but they sent it to me. Probably would have picked it up in this sale because I had my eye on it. And I'm so glad that they sent it to me because I love this for anything cream. Blend the complexion stick out with it. I use it to blend out my cream contour today, any kind of cream blush, my concealer, highlight, any cream product. I absolutely love using this brush with it. It's so soft. It's so like bendable. I, I love this brush. I like that it's slightly angled. It works beautifully. So highly recommend the brush. This combo right here is beautiful. This is a very, very quick face. I can get the other Merit product out of the way, so I'm done talking about Merit. I, again, I kept it to three products because I love them all. But anyways, this, so these are my like top three from Merit. This is the Merit, I think they call it the Shade Slick. Tinted lip oil in pink beet. I think this is beautiful. It feels good. I love this color. This has replaced the Fenty Gloss Balm in my purse. That is the lip gloss I was using on like a everyday basis. This is definitely my go-to now. I love the way it feels. It's not goopy, it's not heavy. Very, very nourishing on the lips and gives such a beautiful wash of color. Get to these products really, really fast. Uh, oh, I lied, there's another Merit product. There's four. They sent me seven and four of Merit in here. I, I'm sorry. I can't not talk about this product. It's my highlight today. This is a highlight that I don't mind wearing every day. I'm not a highlight person. If you saw that video, I said that. But this from Merit. Such a beautiful wet sheen without being without being glittery and sparkly. It's just a nice reflective wet looking highlight and I love it so much. So forgive me, but I had to mention this because it's definitely, this is the only highlight I need. That, that's it. Um, next up is a powder and the uh, lid actually broke off of this. I don't know if that is something on my part that happened, but the plastic did break and the lid is gone. So that's kind of a bummer, but I love the powder. This is the Kosas Cloud Set Powder and I have the shade Airy. I really like this powder. I like to use this with my makeup, with my makeup every day. I have run out of my Laura Geller powder, so I've been using this exclusively. I need to repurchase that, I keep saying that. I wish they had that at Sephora. But anyways, this is a great powder if you're looking to find a very light. It's not one that's gonna take away the tackiness completely. It's not gonna be mattify. This is a very light, airy, smoothing powder. Um, the bronzer I use today, the Milk Makeup Baked Bronzer. I I know this has been around for years. I know it's been recommended for years, but I do really enjoy this. And I recommend getting the mini. This is, I think, $18. And I've had this for probably two years. I probably should replace it. But it just doesn't ever go away. It, you use so little of it, there's no need to get the, the big one. So I recommend the mini of the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick. Okay, four more very quick products. Uh, another bronzer, this one is a luxury item. This is something that definitely a splurge and definitely something I would pick up during the sale if you're gonna get it. And that is the Lila B Duo Bronzer. This bronzer, I think that yes, part of it is the packaging and yes, part of it is the luxe of it, but the formula itself is beautiful. The color looks wonderful on me. I personally really like this bronzer. and It's definitely something to pick up during the sale if you're gonna get it, because I think it's like $42 for this, but uh, 
I just, I love it. Uh, another product that I waited too long to buy because it was more expensive, but this is the Jouer Duo Blush. I know they have a Duo Bronzer as well, uh, which I do want to try, but the Duo Blush, absolutely love. I have the shade Flirt. Um, this is a little bit more springy summery, so they have other shade combinations, but I personally love this light one on me. It's just, it works. It's so beautiful. Um, it's just a nice light wash of pink. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, but I actually used a little bit of this one today as well. I also enjoy the mirror inside here, but anyways, this is a great product. Highly recommend. A brow product that I have been loving is the Anastasia Brow Pen. This is the first like felt tip pen I've used in my brows, so keep that in mind. It's my only one, so there's probably, there may be better out there, but I do enjoy this. I've been using this in my brows a lot. Okay, the last product I wanna talk about for recommendations. I don't even know if they sell this individually. Baby Biba Palette. I think this is a perfect, perfect everyday palette. Here, let me swatch this for you. So that's all you need for a simple, simple natural everyday look. Absolutely love this. The shimmer is a beautiful tone for every day. I love this. I got this in the Sephora, Sephora Beauty Must Haves favorite set. That's where this came in. I don't know if they have this by itself. Let's see. Let's go to Sephora, shall we? Okay, so this is not sold individually, unfortunately, but that Sephora Favorites Beauty Must Have set is great. I I highly recommend it. I talked about it in my Will I Buy It for Holiday Edition. I obviously bought it. I think this is amazing. I hope that they eventually make this specific one sold by itself because I love it. Now let's get on to what I want. Those are my recommendations for you. Let's get on to what I want. First of all, so this is gonna have a little crossover with my Holiday Will I Buy It because there's a couple things, but first off, the Kosas Fuel Hyaluronic Acid Lip Balm Snack Pack. I want this. My mom actually already bought this. And I don't know if she bought it because of my Will I Buy It video, but she bought a couple of things that I mentioned in that video. The Dior Backstage no pow Powder No Powder, I've heard great things about. I wanna try it. I just haven't picked it up. It's $40. I want it. We'll see. I may. I, it's in my cart right now. We'll see. And then this is definitely for my Will I Buy. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette. I buy this every year. The last three years I've bought it, so uh, I'm gonna buy it again. And hopefully this year's I'll like better than last year's. I really want this. I don't know why, but I want the Dior, you know, bright pink blush that's sold out always. My Merit brush is in my favorites. I can take that out because I have it now. Um, let's see. I just bought shampoo and conditioner, so I probably won't pick that up, but if I hadn't, then I, I, I don't know, I may get a backup set of it, because it is my favorite. Really, I can't think of anything else. I mean, I'm sure there's other things. But no, there's not like a ton that's grabbing my attention, like, by me. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I guess that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If there's anything that's catching your eye for the sale, let me know in the comments below what you're gonna get. Let me know if this is something like, do you normally splurge and get, you know, a huge haul during the Sephora sale or do you just like, sit, you're waiting for that one item that you wanna get? Let me know, I'm curious to see how you shop the sale. Um, and a lot of times I buy an on online order and then I end up going in Sephora and buying something else too happens almost every time. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and want to see future videos, hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys next time. Stay gorgeous. Bye. If you did enjoy this, Lincoln. All right, guys, that's going to Let's get close. Let's get close and personable. Personable. You, 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 you. I'm going to talk about a brout. Next up is the coast. Lincoln, Lincoln, let me get through this, please. Shh. Perfecting complexion. Com perfecting complexion. What? Glitterly glitter. Without being. Without being glitter. Please. Shh. Shh. Perfecting complexion. Com perfecting complexion. What? Being glitter.